right, Locker Nuts, we are back in business. Bought one today. Uh, online auction, 250 bucks. This is definitely one of the lower priced ones that we saw. I saw some go really, really high today. We're in San Ramon, not far from my house. This is actually where I used to rent locally. It's very expensive to rent here. So um, I typically like to buy here because, well, people got to have some money to rent here, as I know. Customer. That's what we got. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like the photos. I'll tell you. I'll be honest with you. That right there is one of the reasons why I bought this. Okay. That's a Nigel painting. Actually, let me flip this camera around and let me get some lights on in here. Take a look. This is the fun part. Okay, here we go. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, um, got that light on. That definitely helps in here. This photo right here, this is a uh, oh, Piedmont Graphics, Oakland, California. Okay, it's nothing, it's nothing that special, but um, the print, the artist rather, I think that's Nigel. It's a famous painter from the 1980s. Um, it was very cool back then, and I saw that and I thought, well, maybe they got some more 80s stuff in here. That was my thinking. That's kind of interesting. What is that? Candle holder. That's what it is. Yep. Put the candle on there so it doesn't fall over. What else we got? We got some junk. This a whole locker could very well be junk. All right. I know that was a chance when I bought it. But uh, there is a lot of boxes. So that to me said there's some. Uh, I see a big dresser here. Uh, we see, did you see the chairs over there? In the, I saw that in the photos online. So... Hmm. Could all be, it could very well be junk. Like everything, see how everything's pushed to the side and to the corner and it's kind of open right here. This could have meant that they took all the good stuff out and put everything they didn't want over there. Yeah, that could be. That could very well be. There's some shoes though. Right here. I don't like how that was so torn open like that either. Silverware. Why is it torn open? Hmm. All right, well, anyways big chance that this is going to be a dump trip for me or a donation trip but hopefully we'll get some better stuff out of here and by better stuff what i'm talking about is stuff i look for to either put on ebay or to put in our live auctions costco empty um you know or go to the flea market with but the lower end regular type stuff i just typically donate and uh, this is not going to be the only locker I buy today. Hopefully, I've got my eye on a couple more. We'll see what they go for. But um, I won't have time to, like, really take a long, long time with this kind of stuff. So this piece right here has got a different. Look at that. It's a little dirty. Hmm. Get some photos. We got, we got stuff in the drawers. Maybe it's a good sign. I don't know. All right, let's get, let's get, well, you know, what? no. We don't need to get started just yet. Let's poke around a little bit more. This stuff is not looking so good right here. Ooh, beets. That's a good sign. All right. Could be a good sign. Boy, everything looks tossed and junky, though. Ooh, Quasinart. There's a Quasinart coffee maker. That's the same coffee maker I have at home. My goodness. I think that's the identical coffee maker I have at home. It's a decent quality. Some clothes. All right. Huh. A lot of clothes. I'm seeing a lot of clothes here. This stuff. Ugh. More furniture. It's a big couch right there. Oh, okay. Well. Hmm. It's hard to even know where to start. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my GoPro. I'm going to go get a cart. I like this thing right here, that mirrored piece. The mirrored dresser I'm not so hot on, but I like that driftwood mirror. That's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, let's look a little more. <laughs> it's nothing. Mm, a lot of clothes. And this piece right here, I thought maybe was solid marble i'm kind of glad it's not even though that would mean it would be worth a little bit i don't know what to do with that all right guys well at first glance here i'm not seeing anything too great this is 
This is not a sexy looking locker. It's pretty trashy. But we're going to, uh, hey, I'm still going to get my fix on. I'll be going through some boxes here in a very, very soon. I just got to go up to uh, do a little bit more paperwork and get a cart and get my GoPro. And then we'll get started. How about now? I'm glad I don't have my locker down there anymore. It's right there, down there in the thick of all that work. We need to be able to get in there. <laughs> That's great. All right, guys, I'm here set up. I'm all ready. I've got a SIM card in here, but it's a new card, and it's saying that it doesn't read, and it needs to be formatted, and every time I hit format, it runs the process, stops, I start it again, it says the same thing, needs to reformat, so something's wrong with the card, I got another one in the car, but I'm here, this is like, I'm going to show you how far it is, it's ridiculous, I bought like the, the furthest corner unit inside, the longest haul trip of any of the, per, uh, any of the lockers here, I just read purses, any of the lockers here, uh, that figure. So anyways, I'm not going to be able to use my GoPro to get this straightened out, but check this out. Okay, I went through one box of clothes already, and um, the first piece I pulled out, check it out, Hudson jeans. Those are, Hudson jeans are actually pretty nice. That's, there's some money in those. Good quality jeans, probably 50 bucks, 40 bucks at least. A bunch of dresses and stuff. It's all decent quality. And then I have some a little bin set up right here of lower quality. Here's a couple of mismatched shoes. And this is all stuff that I'll probably donate. And I'll keep the better stuff there for probably the flea market or I don't know what. But yeah, I'm going to probably go through these boxes and just show you what's interesting that I pull out. And uh, hopefully the first trip that I make to the car, I'll get the other chip and that will work. So I can get some GoPro action as well. All right, here is a box of books and stuff but look at this i got a, a fork here <laughs> not terribly exciting but it is made in germany all right so we'll look that up because stuff in cutlery in germ made in germany sometimes can have some decent value there's a little earring that's nice and i see down there a whole bunch of change that's often a good oh, here's another earring uh i like when i find change in lockers i don't know it just uh it just makes me feel good all right guys it's a little hot in here um i was just filming for probably a good 20 minutes and my gopro seemed to be fine and then it says beep 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 it card error again with the new sim card there's two sim cards in a row neither one seems to be taking and both are not formatting for some reason so i gotta go home and get the other one it really takes me off i don't know i i don't know if any of that video is going to come out all i can tell you is that you're not missing much this really does this unit does appear to be gone through already i think what happened is uh the people came in and gutted it before they went delinquent on it or something i don't know uh it's unfortunate and it looked like that but i was willing to take a chance just because here in san ramon there's a tremendous amount of decent clothing though um but man it's so hard for me to make it back and close basically those three bins right there i'm keeping we're gonna take home and look up this stuff right here i'm comfortable donating because it's just not high enough and this donate donate there's gonna be a lot going to the street to the dump too. Uh, Cause I see a lot of broken stuff in here, but I'm gonna donate as much as I can. I'm gonna keep the better pieces. I don't know how much video I'm gonna get here guys. Cause uh, I don't want to slow down and, and uh, I gotta go faster on this. I'm gonna be bidding on another unit here in just a couple hours. I'm hoping to get that one. Maybe that'll be better, but uh, I gotta get through this. So if I find something interesting, I'll stop and update you. But for now the GoPro is a bust. I'm not gonna knock this out today anyways. I'll have to come back tomorrow. So the GoPro, I'll get that back in action so you can at least get a little bit of unboxing. But right now, not missing much. Okay, I said I'd start if I got something interesting. And what is this right here? That's a fake Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I can tell just by touching it is fake. It's not fooling me. But it did get me excited for a half of a split second there. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> coach I don't think so I think it's a fake coach but I'm not sure um it's not gonna be too valuable either way but yeah check it out here's the label if you're curious there's the label mm, doesn't look to be too spectacular or impressive but we'll put it aside anyways I do like that I'm finding so many purses just haven't found any like really high value purses but uh, purses still sell. I mean, at our auctions or at the garage sale, they still sell. 
Here's another leather purse here, it's not bad. All right, guys, I'm making some progress. I'm definitely biting into this area right here, um, working my way back, all right? It is, uh, yeah, that box looks nasty. I saw the Cuisinart, but I didn't see all that. Ugh. Okay, so got some, got, I'm getting stuff pretty well processed here and I got a little flow. Now finally got some empty bins to work with. It makes it go faster. I wish I had a garbage can, but it's okay. They, man, there's some decent stuff in here. I'm finding a lot of tagged clothes. Not like a ton, a ton, but maybe like every 10 or 15 pieces is tagged. So that's decent. And I'm seeing some pricey stuff. All this right here, that, 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 these two. Oh, I just started going through this. All that's going home with me. Jana's going to have to take a pass through it because I think there's some nice stuff here. Some of this we might lot up in our auctions. I think it's good enough quality. I really do. This is Nordstrom stuff. The lady shopped at Nordstrom quite a bit. And uh, the lower end stuff, and by lower, I you know, tank tops. This has a stain on it. Uh, um, not like terribly bad. If it's terribly bad, I'll throw it in the garbage. But the stuff that I think is like lightly clean, light cleaning needed, like, well, maybe that's a little more light, but it's got, it's got, it's got some spots on it. It's not stained. Okay. It's just dirty. So, um, that's, that bag's going to the thrift store. Yeah. I got a little bit of stuff piled over here for the dump, but surprisingly, it's not that much stuff. My dump pile is very small right now. That's fantastic. I love that I can donate a lot and lighten my load and I'm finding good stuff here. I mean, I was, I, I at first I'm like, okay, this has been gone through and it's mostly closed. But it is good clothes. It is good clothes. The furniture back here doesn't really do anything for me, but hopefully it's clean. I maybe just list it for free and blow it out really quick. If not, I live like seriously like a mile or two from here. So anyways, uh, so far, not too bad, but nothing like no real big value, exciting finds yet. But I'm still going through it. But here is the exciting thing. I bought another locker just a few minutes ago online. I'll flash a photo of it right here. I paid 910 and guess what's in there? <sighs> Come on guys, guess. What do I love to find in lockers? What do I love to find? What does everyone love to find in lockers? A safe, it's got a safe. 910, uh, I don't think was even that much for this locker. Based on today's prices, it wasn't that much for this locker without the safe. I thought I was gonna go heck of crazy. I was gonna, willing to go 12, 1300 on it. I didn't have to and I'm happy about that. So. Uh, we'll head over there tomorrow and work on that like you know pay for it pop it open I think I'm gonna try to rent it for a month. Give me some time. We'll do that tomorrow for now I've got no rush. I'm just gonna take my time and keep going through this stuff Sorry, I'm not getting more on film, but I, believe me you're not missing anything unless you like clothes I know some of you do but uh, it's not that much to miss. I'll uh, restart it if I find something exciting Okay, there's my third trip to the car, third cartload. This is keepers right here. These are donators. And uh, let me show you what I got left here. <laughs> it's a lot, but I, I have made it through a lot of stuff. This dump pile is getting bigger. There's a lot of empty boxes back there, so it's, it's not quite as bad. But I got to knock all these boxes out and, but, um, and those boxes there. But look at this. This is actually kind of a nice surprise. If none of those mirrors are broken... Right, see that? It's a mirrored dresser. And this is the matching side table right here. That's the way it looks to me. Um, actually, that looks a little different, actually. It is different. It's mirrored, but it's not matching. So we'll sell those separate. Um, but as long as none of the mirrors are broken, I think that might be 200 bucks right there. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, the pink stuff here, that'll probably sell. It looks clean. This hopefully is clean and not tore up. And uh, that'll sell. I think that's a big ottoman right there in the couch or, or a chair or something. I don't know. But anyways, Ooh, hope that's in there. Yamaha. All right, well, that's it. I got about two hours before they close. I'm going to see if I can bust this out. Quick trip home to dump the personal stuff. And then a trip to the thrift store to drop the donations. All right, I'm back. Uh, it took me just a little over an hour to make those stops. And uh, I thought I was going to be really impressed here to just throw some stuff on the car and leave. But I got a code. Yay. So instead of having to be out of here by 6, which is office hours, I've got till 10. That's more time than I'm going to spend here. Because, um, yeah, there's not that much to do. Well, this probably take me four hours, but I just didn't plan on spending. 
I'm old. I got to get my sleep. But Jana's back at home. I dropped a whole bunch of boxes off for her. She's going through the stuff right now to uh, pull out anything that's, you know, she determines to be good enough for our auctions. Hope she, hopefully she'll find a lot in there. And uh, anything else she's going to put aside for the garage sale this weekend. And, uh, yeah, so I'm doing the first, <laughs> kind of like I do the first layer of sort, bring it home. She does the second layer of sort. And it's like sifting gold, right? The big boulders out first, then the smaller, 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 until you get to the really good stuff, that golden, shiny stuff. All right, guys. Here's another load I'm started to bring home, uh, stuff to sort through. I don't know if this is worth anything anymore, but P90X. It's got some sticky stuff on it, but it's brand new sealed. Um, uh, this is kind of funny. I've been putting all the coins in the sock right here. It's getting a little bit full. And then I found, look at that. I found all those coins right there. I found one necklace floating around. Or I'm not even sure if that's a necklace. Yeah, I think that's a necklace. I've just been putting the nicer stuff in there. Stuff to take a little bit closer look. Right here, I've been going through this is bathroom stuff. And look at this. This is why I just started the camera. This right here. All right. Really haven't found very much good stuff at all in this locker. So, oh man, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, it does say something. What does that say? What does that say? I don't know. I don't know. All right, there's a couple pieces. I'll bring those home and sort through them. I don't really see anything too impressive. <laughs> but I didn't even really think I'd find anything. I thought this was picked clean, picked over. There's a few more necklaces here. But the fact there's a shoelace in there too does not give me much hope. <laughs> but you never know. I found crazier stuff than that, so. Right, I'm gonna go through this box very carefully. All right, guys. Ooh, done. Clean space. I love that feeling. Um, actually, it took me three more trips here. One or two trips with the truck, one with the trailer. I'll show you that in a second. One trip with the truck to the thrift store, one trip to the truck to the dump this morning, and then now, boom, one little cart left. And now I got to load down my trailer and uh, head home. I'll show you what that looks like. All right. Hey, I forgot to I forgot to film this when I left the unit, but basically what I did is I went home and I added all kinds of stuff that I had already brought home from this locker. So you see a lot more boxes. Oh, it's windy today too. I don't know. Hopefully not too bad wind noise. This piece is out of my garage, but basically everything on this trailer right now is all from that locker. That's a lot of stuff. That's a pretty full trailer, but I'm going to be adding a little bit more, a little bit more from my locker yeah some stuff i've been setting aside it's ready to go um we'll have a little bit more but it really is like i'm a little nervous about taking this much stuff to a uh, garage sale because um the yard's not huge and this this is a tremendous amount of stuff i don't even know how many people are going to get tomorrow so but it is a lot of furniture and furniture unloads quickly sells quickly i mean one big piece boom gone you know it's easier to sell a chair than is an entire box full of clothes so um and i'll be selling the furniture cheap tomorrow so i'll try to add a little bit more to this and top us off plus i got to get all the tables all right guys so if you've been watching this sorry i didn't get more tape my gopro really disappointed me um on this venture but uh as i mentioned earlier i did buy another online auction same day a little bit later that one had a safe in it and i've started going through that one yesterday so i'll release that footage my i did my have my gopro and that one, quite frankly, was more interesting than this one. This locker, in summary, had a tremendous amount of clothes. 
I was a little hopeful thinking, oh, these are going to be nice clothes. And I saw some high price tickets. I saw some brands I recognized. But Jana um, looked through it and she said, no, this is like outdated by about, uh, I think she said 10 to 15 years, a little bit older style stuff. A lot of it was heavily used and stained. And I, I saw some of that in the locker, but you know, you, inside the locker, it's a little bit dark and you don't really see stains that well until you get them out into better lighting. So a little bit disappointed, but anyways, um, we didn't miss much with that one, but still 250 bucks. I'm going to make some money on this one. Was it worth it though? I don't know. I'll double my money, but um it's close to home i'm always willing to take a more of a chance close to home because i don't have to drive far and also i know i'm in a better zip code that worked out for me recently with the versace locker it didn't work out for me on this one but i'll do it again i mean i'll take another chance again uh this one looked picked over though and that's absolutely what it was that's what i think now i found a little bit of photos but not that much uh she came and got her what she wanted so anyways okay guys here's the table this is the best of the best. Uh, I mean, maybe not. I, I don't know. I didn't put any clothes here. We did pull some clothes out, but this was all in that plastic bin that I said, okay, here's the better stuff. I got to take home and look at it. Let's go through it real quick. Okay, so these posters are all 80s, 80s posters. This one, for example, and it's hard to see, but it's the Go-Go's. And I'm wrinkling it up with the one-handed stuff. Uh, it don't matter. It's already wrinkled up, but still kind of cool. Go-Go's. I think there's three Duran Durans, and this one's Adam Ant. All from the 80s. Like, one of them's got 1983 printed on it. Actually, I think this one right here. Maybe not. Yeah, 1983 printed in England. And that is Duran Duran. That's an early one, too. They're babies there. All right, so I don't know if there's value on those, but it's just kind of cool that she kept those. This right here seems to be a nicer scarf. And uh, kind of funny, because we found those really nice scarves, and they said Seta, which I just learned was Italian for silk. It says made in Italy, and here is the designer, Enrico Coveri. I actually have to look this up still. I didn't get to that. All right, the P90X, as you saw, I flashed on the screen because I researched this. Uh, about anywhere from 35 to over $50 used. It seems to be kind of a big range in price. I got it pretty much cleaned up. Took a little Windex to it, and then so, there's some sticky stuff like a sticker, residue from a sticker. I took some... Uh, lighter fluid to take off the sticker residue works like a champ a couple of uh, cds here this one's sealed brand new david gray this one's not doesn't look like it was ever opened see that i don't know yeah they probably just put the sticker back on Gwen stefani we'll add those two a lot this one also you saw me flash the price on it this surprisingly is a 30 dollar bill right there pretty cool i took all the change that we found put in this tub right here a lot of quarters in there. This will add up. This is going to be a few bucks. Uh, if I had to guess, I don't know, between 20 and 30 bucks. So here is, this is it for the nice jewelry. This, Jana went through it and said this is the nicest of the jewelry. We will be lotting this up. Uh, just like you see it here, this will be in our Monday night auction. This piece right here was just brand new with the tag. That's why we included it. Macy's, $34, all right? But it's not as nice as the other pieces. These pieces are pretty cool. But this is my favorite right here. This right here, because it's got the Indian head nickel. All right, or you can call it buffalo nickel, whatever. Got the feather right there. Pretty cool piece. That's a silver coin, so I wouldn't be surprised if that feather is also silver. And you got some beads here and some leather. So, a leather strap. I think that's a neat piece, okay? Over here is kind of all the rejects. Like, uh, you know, we have like one earring there. You know, even like we have a pair right here. It's just it's just not nice enough to put in our uh, lot. So what we'll do is all this stuff here will all go into um, a miscellaneous bag. This is what we do with this kind of stuff. We'll put in a bag and just sell a bag of miscellaneous jewelry. Some of it's mismatched, some of it's broken, but this stuff, it is what it is. All right, this piece right here, it's kind of pretty, but... I noticed when I was reviewing the video, it looks like it's corroding right there. Okay, gold doesn't corrode like that, right? So it's probably, if it is gold, it's gold plated and whatever the base metal is, is bleeding through. That's my guess. I don't know. What it says right there, it says like Edco or something. Edco, I think. I'm not sure what to do with this ring. I think it's still pretty, but it might make it the bag. It might go separate. I'm not sure. We have this little old camera. Everything's kind of gross, you know. 
It's got like makeup or something all over everything. There's no card in there. I think there is a battery. I found the battery charger. That's good. Um, the battery charger alone sells. It's probably 10 bucks. I don't know. Nothing too huge or significant. This Bose system's not bad, but again, everything's so dirty. See it? Charger. I think I have one of these. Um, the remote I'm assuming is for this, probably is. It's a sound dock. Surprisingly, even though it's an old format right here, still, oh, I think you can replace this too. I think this part comes off. Maybe you can buy a new one. But still, these sell for 50 bucks. So surprising. 50 to bucks right there. Um, I'll probably just sell at the garage sale though because the condition on it's not super great. But um, yeah, still surprising it gets that much. All right, this, not a big deal here either, but uh, keychain. There's a coach. A little coach keychain. Seen lots of wear. It's in perfect condition though. I mean, besides the wear. Kind of gives it a little character. <laughs> All right, this, this, I, I have never found one of these before. This is a mini disc. It's kind of funny, huh, that I never find these. I don't think mini disc ever caught on. So, um, it's like a CD, you know? I think they thought this was going to be the next greatest thing. It's a mini disc. So, anyways, I looked this up surprisingly. This one right here sells for 30 bucks. So, that's going on to eBay. Big surprise right there. All right, and then we had a few gift cards. Zero balance, zero balance, zero balance. However, just like it says right there, 15 bucks. That one had the money, went on my account, and that makes me happy. Right now it's Friday afternoon, and I'm preparing for a garage sale tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get this video out before then. Um, well, anyways, I'm doing all I can. Just not enough time in the day. I'm tired, and um, I'm old. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I work by myself. This is uh it's a lot of work for me, so I'm doing my best. Bought two big lockers this week and um I'm trying to keep up with it. But you know what? It is fun. Even though this locker really wasn't that interesting, it was still fun. I still like the adventure and I like the, the mystery. And I hope you guys like it too. Alright, I hope the video came together well. I don't even know at this point. Um well, you see me wearing my earbuds because I like listening to music when I'm loading and unloading. It makes it go by super fast. So I'm gonna get to that right now. And uh, like I said, the other locker is much more interesting. I only went through it for about four hours. And it was a lot of garbage. Just to, you know, just to let you know, there's a lot of garbage. But what I found is uh, a little bit better, more interesting stuff. And <coughs> Corona. And I will... <laughs> uh, sorry, I always do that now. Um, what I found was a little bit more interesting, definitely some, some, you know, little different stuff and some hints of some collectability. So I'm hoping in the back of that locker, it seems to be getting the better, the deeper I go. And I'm hoping in the back, uh, there's going to be some collectible stuff back there. There could be, I see some comic books. I see some Marvel stuff. Um, Batman. We'll see. All right. Well, that's just a little teaser, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Next one will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.